This is the engine of a Boeing 777 that failed on February 20th, 2021. 328 Heavy Mayday Mayday aircraft. It was flying from Denver to Honolulu with 241 people on board. Parts of it rained down on a residential neighborhood near the airport. Pilots were able to land the plane safely and no one was injured. But it wasn't the first time this happened. The same type of engine, the Pratt & Whitney PW4112, also failed on a Japan Airlines flight in December 2020, and another failed on a United Airlines flight in February 2018. In each case, regulators found that the engine fan blades fractured due to fatigue or cracks. In the 2018 incident, the National Transportation Safety Board, or NTSB, found that flawed inspections by the engine maker Pratt & Whitney were the root cause. The agency is still investigating all possible causes of the most recent failures, including Pratt & Whitney's inspection process. The 1990s brought a lot of changes to commercial aviation. New planes like the Boeing 777 were introduced, along with new engines to power them, like the Pratt & Whitney PW4000. Modern engines like the PW4000 feature lighter and more aerodynamic blades. Instead of a solid piece of metal, some fan blades have a hollow honeycomb interior. But this style of fan blade required new methods of inspecting them for wear and tear. In 2005, Pratt & Whitney developed a new inspection method using an existing technology called thermal acoustic imaging. The fan blades are hit with sound waves that cause the structure to subtly vibrate. If there's a crack somewhere in the interior of the fan blade, the vibration will cause friction, and therefore heat, which an inspector's instruments can detect on the fan blade's surface. The PW4000 has a state-of-the-art design, the result of more than 10 years of research and hundreds of tests. In the 1990s, the aerospace industry took a more active role in setting training and certification requirements for aircraft inspections. The FAA maintained oversight, but the industry had more input in developing the standards. The aerospace industry maintains standards for a list of established inspection methods. Inspectors are required to go through hundreds of hours of training to obtain certifications to use these methods. But when an aerospace company, like Pratt & Whitney, introduces a new inspection technique, like thermal acoustic imaging, it's classified as an emerging technology. This classification allows manufacturers, like Pratt & Whitney, to start using a new inspection method without first developing a training program. With oversight from the FAA, the manufacturer is supposed to formalize the inspection method over time. But the NTSB found that because thermal acoustic imaging was still classified as an emerging technology, Pratt & Whitney never developed a formal training program, even though they'd used it to inspect more than 9,000 fan blades over the course of 13 years. Pratt & Whitney declined to comment, citing ongoing investigations, but the company previously said that it would work with regulators on new inspections. An FAA spokesman said the issue with the 2018 failure was with the interpretation of the inspection result, not the execution and that Pratt & Whitney has since corrected the errors. When the engine that failed in 2018 was last inspected, the P&W employees that inspected it did not attend one of the training sessions on how to use the technology. This was only possible because it was classified as an emerging technology. After the NTSB's report on the 2018 engine failure, Pratt & Whitney agreed to formalize training for thermal acoustic imaging. The Pratt & Whitney engine that failed in February 2021 was last inspected in 2016, before the new training standards, raising questions about its accuracy. Pratt & Whitney re-examined the records from that inspection and refined how it interpreted the results after the 2018 failure. The re-examinations did not find any cracks in the blades, according to the FAA. Still, the inspection process remains one of the focal points in the NTSB's investigation into the 2021 failure. The United 328 Heavy Mayday aircraft uh, just experienced a engine failure need to turn immediately. In this video taken by a passenger on the February flight, 
you can see the broken fan blade. Regarding the fan blade that was fractured at the root, a preliminary on-scene exam indicates damage consistent with metal fatigue. An NTSB spokesman said their investigation of maintenance and inspection records related to the most recent incident is ongoing and that it's too early to draw conclusions about the cause. Boeing said it was working with regulators and that it supports the FAA's guidance on inspection requirements. So weird, there's like smoke coming out of one of the engines on that plane. The FAA ordered new inspections that must be completed before planes with this type of Pratt & Whitney engine can be returned to service, citing the likelihood of further fan blade failures. <laughs>